Correspondent Janelle Ford is live for us in Johns Creek, Georgia tonight. Janelle, you spoke to Sierra's parents. This was their first on-camera interview since their daughter's disappearance. Yeah, Marty, and I asked them why they hadn't done any one-on-one -on -one interviews like this up until this point. And they told me that it's because they didn't want to step on the toes of the investigators in this case. But as we're approaching nearly a month since Sierra's disappearance, and there's still very few leads in this case, they tell me they feel that now is the time to get her story out there. And they hope that someone will watch this and be persuaded to come forward and tell them what they know. Every day it becomes solidified in your mind that she's definitely not coming back and ever and um, that her son's never going to see his mother and um, we're never going to see our daughter. You can hear the pain and hurt in their voices. It's been nearly a month since Nick and Kelly Locklear last saw their daughter, 31-year-old Sierra Breland, vanishing without a trace. Now that it's almost a month, do you guys still have hope that she's alive? If she were alive, oh, she, would be. she would have been home. Last month, Sierra and her husband Xavier Breland, pup, five-month-old baby boy Jackson, drove the 550 or so miles from their home in Carmel, Indiana, to Georgia to visit both of their parents. First, stop it in Johns Creek, just outside of Atlanta, to see Xavier's mom. She had been giving me messages. Like we said, she did not plan to go back to Indiana. She was planning on staying. But she had said that she needed to make it a um, kind of a surprise for him. Then, Sierra and the baby drove alone about an hour to her parents' home in Cleveland, Georgia. Sierra came here February 19th, Saturday, and left on the 20th. And that was the last time you guys saw him? Yes. Six days later, a call from Carmel, Indiana police. He said, uh, your daughter's been reported missing. And I said, miss in Indiana? And he said, yes. As uh, Xavier called and said that she left last night. According to Xavier, Sierra left their home in the middle of a cold winter night, wearing just a t-shirt and shorts, leaving behind her keys, wallet, car, and her baby boy, and didn't return. She would not have left that child. The Locklayers described their daughter as bright-eyed and ambitious, a daddy's girl who worked hard, eventually fulfilling her dream of becoming a lawyer. But her behavior began to change about a year ago, shortly after relocating to Indiana with her husband. Then, allegations of abuse. There was actually an officer that had been called out to their house one night that said he was a specialist in domestic violence. And he said, he literally said, he's not telling the truth. She's not telling the truth. You know, she's not letting him take the consequences for his actions. So we can't do anything about it, but I'm going to tell you this is escalating so fast that something really bad is going to happen to her very soon. Xavier is the sole person of interest in this case, which took a turn starting with police discovering the last trace of Sierra is on home security footage from Xavier's mom's home in Johns Creek dated February 24th. That's the last known location that anybody's actually been able to see her that we know of at this point. Johns Creek Police Captain Todd Hood says they aren't releasing the footage yet, but they plastered billboards and flyers across the city asking the public for any information that might help. So somebody knows something, we're, we're, we're begging them to come forward at this point and give us just some information as to where she is or maybe what's happening. When we went to the home to see if Xavier's family had anything to say about the investigation, the woman inside yelled repeatedly for us to go away. Go away! Hi, I'm with News Nation. Xavier is currently back in Georgia, booked in the Coweta County Jail on unrelated aggravated stalking charges against another woman. Sierra's parents say it appears he's no longer cooperating with detectives, leaving them feeling hopeless about finding their baby girl. Devastated. There's nothing like this. And uh, whether we'll ever know or not, um, is a, you know, we think about that as a reality, but um, I can't imagine this devastation ever going away.
that feeling of loss, I don't see you ever get over it. And you hear the parents, and it's just hard to fathom the heartbreak that they're experiencing. And Marnie, the FBI now has a $10,000 reward out for any information that leads to Sierra's whereabouts. It's devastating even to hear that they don't think she's alive. You rarely hear families say that, um, to lose hope at this point. Um, you mentioned he's behind bars. She's obviously missing. Where's the baby? Well, the baby is still in Carmel, Indiana, with Xavier's father, his grandfather. The Locklears say that the baby is in good hands, but that they are working with Child Protective Services in Indiana, trying to get baby Jackson back here to Georgia and in their custody. Mm -hmm. Janelle, anything more that Sierra's parents were able to share about she and Xavier's relationship in the past? Anything that stood out that now becomes more clear? Yeah, they gave us a lot of information about the couple. They say that they met years ago here in Georgia and that Sierra had actually represented Xavier while he was going through some legal trouble. Uh, their relationship just bloomed from there. They were married in 2020. Uh, they had baby Jackson at the end of last year. And then the parents say in the past few months, uh, they learned that the couple was having some money issues. And then they claim that Xavier had been physically abusing Sierra, which you heard and the peace. And police raising some red flags along the way. Uh, Janelle, thank you. If you have any information at home on the disappearance of Sierra Breland, you can contact the Carmel Police Department or the Johns Creek Police tip line, both departments working this case. And we have those numbers for you on your screen. They'll be on our website as well. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.